So I actually found it strange that um, some students were actually confusing the concepts of femoral hernia and inguinal hernia. I was like, wow, from the pictures, there's a clear difference, okay? You can see that inguinal hernia is occurring up here while femoral hernia is pointing down. Inguinal hernia is kind of like pointing medial, all right? So they're actually two different things, right? But it's not always, it's not good to always just say, uh, okay, everybody should know, everybody should know. So I always make videos on all these things that actually seem so simple too, okay? So in here, we'll be talking about the differences. I'll be going so in-depth on it, okay? So just a recap again, the inguinal hernia, we see femoral hernia. So we're talking about what these two different types of hernias, okay? And differences. So femoral hernia occurring in the femoral region is more common in females, while inguinal hernia is more common in the males. First difference. Femoral hernia, just like you know, it passes through the femoral canal. Inguinal hernia, it passes through the inguinal canal, or it could pass through the what? Um, abdominal, abdominal wall, okay? And in femoral hernia, the neck of the sac is below and lateral to the pubic tubercle. Why in this is in femoral? Femoral is pointing down, right? It's pointing down, right? In inguinal, we said that the neck of the sac is above and medial to the pubic tubercle, right? Coming medially, coming medially to you. Femoral hernia is pointing down, right? Femoral hernia is uh, more common to be strangulated, why uh, inguinal hernia is less common to be strangulated. Uh, femoral hernia must be treated surgically. Inguinal hernia can be treated without surgery. All right. Um, the two diagnosis signs of hernia is minus. The two diagnosis signs of this inguinal hernia is plus. I don't really understand that point, okay? Um, the sac, that's the hernia sac, mainly contains omentum in femoral hernia. So that means what well, the omentum is the most likely stomach structure that will bulge out, okay? In femoral hernia, why for inguinal hernia is the boil, the intestines that are most likely to bulge out in inguinal hernia, all right? So that's basically what comparing femoral hernia to inguinal hernia was basically what the differences between what femoral hernia and inguinal hernia. All right, see you guys.